Hey guys, this is a continuation of part six when we learned how we can supply the request body using these simple objects like string, map, and this JSON object which comes from JSON library. Now in this video, we'll focus on the file category. And this file category, you have file, input stream, and byte array. Now you might say that, hey, you know, okay, I have the file, I read that file and I supply the content of it as the body of the request, okay? Why do I need to go for input stream and byte array? That's fine, if you are the source, meaning you own the file, then you can go for file. But there might be cases when, let's say, there is a file that's there onto the server. You hit that request, you get that file. Now the file is in your program, okay? Now from that program, you're gonna either read it as an input stream or as a byte array and supply it to the subsequent request, okay? Now imagine that the first API which I talked about when you are downloading the file, okay, might be some other source from where you have to consume the value in your own API, okay? Which means that you have dependency on the other system. And if that is the case, then rest assured offers you all these different ways okay so let's get started i'm gonna open eclipse now and start writing the code all right guys so i have created three dummy test cases in the same post basics file which we created in the last video okay now we need to read the data from the file okay so the file lives under this source test resources and payloads folder now this is the file which we are going to read input members.json and in this input member.json this is the data that we are going to work upon okay now the first case is we have to read the file and reading file in java is very simple so we say file body is equal to new file okay and now we have to provide the path of the file okay and path for that we say system dot get property and in here we just provide user dot dir this is going to give me the directory of my project and to that i can concatenate this value okay all right so now i have the file and this is the same code that we have been using okay so now in this body i'm gonna provide this file okay and I can do so because this is offered by rest assured as you could see okay when i hover over this you see the file body great so i'm gonna set it to true my api server is already running let me save it and execute this there you go so we are able to create the record let's also check that in our database so this record is created great i'm gonna delete it because we are going to work on the same file all right so let me save it server is restarted and i go back to my test cases i'm gonna set it to false now we have to read that as an input stream okay get class okay and then we say dot and now you have this method get class loader, okay? And then we say get resource, okay, as stream, okay? So this will return you the input stream, okay? So if the file is then under the resources, this is the simplest way you can uh, read a file, okay? That will give you the input stream then. And inside this now, we have to provide in just this much like i said it reads from the resource folder okay so you have to provide the path from there only all right this will give us the input stream so i just say input stream this comes from java.io and let's name it body equal to this okay okay so we are good let's save it change it to true and execute it and this is also successful let's go back we see this data in here now again let's delete this save it again server is again restarted go back and do our last test case 
So I set it to false. Go back to my next test case. And this time I have to read this as byte array. So how do I read a file into a byte array? So for that guys, we require the files which comes from java.nio.file. This class has got a static method which says read all bytes. Okay. And in here you have to provide the path. Now again, we require paths. Okay. And import this as well. So again, this is a class which comes from this package only dot and we have the get method. Okay. Now in that again, uh, we have to provide the complete path. So we just copy this thing from here as it is. Scroll down and we provide in this value in here. Okay. Rest of the things are again the same. We just uncomment this code. Okay. And this thing returns you the byte array. So of course we have to save that. So we say byte array, uh, let's call it body equal to this. Now it is complaining. We have to add the throw exception, IO exception. All right, great. Let's do that. Let's save everything, change it to true. Save again and run it. There you go guys, we are again able to create the record. So, so this is how you can supply data from a file to your request body. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.